like when you hear the word supplement as well, mm-hmm. you can almost imagine supplement almost also just means nutrient, right? Like yeah. your supplements are nutrients that you're giving to your body. And the good example that you gave is an athlete, right? An athlete is not typically suffering from a deficiency of nutrients. They're looking for that extra little bit mm-hmm. to get them that extra energy mm-hmm. and that type of thing. And that's something that I often look at when people come to me as well. And they're like, you know, I feel tired or, you know, X, Y, Z symptom. And you can look at that and say, well, how's your lifestyle? Let's look at your lifestyle first and see how are you eating? How are you like, are there adjustments that you can make in your lifestyle first that might like also get you more of those nutrients, more of that energy that you require? I would. That's that's the holistic health plan right there. It's. And so what I want to mention about supplements and expectations of how much it's going to help you, I can tell tell you that when I see something out there that says that this herb or this nutrient reduces something by 20%, everyone goes crazy and jumps for joy and froths at the mouth and wants to just give this to everyone. Like, that's a huge number mm. for us as practitioners. But then when I think from the perspective of the patient who they, they're in pain and uh or whatever it is they're they're looking to solve something by 90 or 100 percent 20 percent probably that's that's a tough sell but that's you know what you have to tell people as a responsible practitioner um just as far as setting expectations that here's what we're looking for like we're looking to decrease the symptom by a a fifth and that would be considered a a tremendous success actually so that's what supplements are doing right and so it should just be part of the puzzle and then like managing stress is going to go so much further likely or or, you know learning cognitive strategies starting to exercise more regularly focusing on your sleep hygiene focusing on the uh, broad spectrum of nutrients you're getting through your fruit fruits vegetables and decent quality protein and good quality carbs and all that stuff like that's gonna go that's the 80 percent yeah and uh, that's the tough part to um not only get people to do but just get through to them in the first place yeah um because I feel like we've been sold this fallacy and it's probably through the success maybe of antibiotics that if I have something, I go, I take this thing and it wipes it out. It's like in some cases we do have that in this world, which is great, but that's not the bar. 